This is the most explosive offense in Madden 24. It has explosive pass plays, I'm wide open. unstoppable glitch routes all over the field, and multiple one-play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So long, suckers! So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, thank you, Windows. Stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use regular team playbooks, though, you can also be found in my Bears offensive and Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment. In today's gameplay, I have another matchup with a highly ranked opponent using a rare team in the Houston Texans. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment sections. It really helps out the video and the channel, and I appreciate the support. I started this game out on defense, and I went into this game in regs to try to lab a new defense that an opponent ran on me in my 32-team subscriber CFM league that he was using to have one of the top defenses in the league. But I couldn't figure out exactly what he was doing as I give up an easy one-play touchdown just the second play of the game. Damn it! The formation that I'll be using today on offense is once again my gun normal Y off close, which is a formation that I put out a few months ago that I recently wanted to get back into for the purposes of my CFM, as this is one of the best offenses that I put out this year. For my substitutions, the most important route on this play is this route here, so I'll make sure to put my fastest or best receiver in this position, which for me is Quez Watkins. My best plays that I keep in my audibles are the double slant, the Y sail, and the escape play as my three most used passing plays, and this is because they are all one-play touchdowns versus multiple defenses. I keep the inside zone in my audibles as well for my only run play, and my fifth and active play is going to be the mesh spot, as this play can be run right away with no adjustments, and it's probably the hardest play to stop for short pass plays. And since I didn't leave myself a lot of time on the play clock, that's exactly what I do, as I take the drag against his cover 3 defense for the first down, while also getting to the hash mark in hopes that he stays in that cover 3 defense on the very next play. One of my favorite things about this offense is that it probably has the most one play touchdowns against cover 3 out of any formation in the game, as cover 3 and cover 4 drop are easily the two hardest defenses to create explosive plays against. So much so that I always start with those two coverages first when I lab a new offensive scheme, because I know that I can figure the other defenses out pretty easily. And this guy has played enough games to know that, so he comes out in cover 3 once again on the next play, as he will stay in his defense enough that I'll get to show you guys multiple different setups against his defense. The first will come from the escape play, which has two different setups by itself. The first setup comes from motioning in the X receiver into the slot and putting him on a streak. And you can see how this motion condenses the offensive formation while the single high safety also moves over to the middle of the field. You have to be on the hash mark to the open side of the field to get this effect or this play won't work, and that's because you need a lot of space to the open side of the field. After that, you just have to streak the two receivers on the right side to pull the safety in that direction, and leave Y on the corner out also, as you will pull the cornerback to the sideline, creating a throwing lane up the seam. I leave my running back on a China route for a check down, but I could also block him if I need more protection. After that, it depends on what type of release you get from the receiver as AJ Brown gets jammed inside a bit too far and gets out really late, but I take a shot anyways as I can always lead away from the safety. Break yourself, fool! But it could have been a touchdown if I didn't get jammed inside so far. Not a big deal though as I call a hurry up, switch to the inside zone, and score in the very next play anyways. Back on the other side of the ball, I try another experimental defense, and he tries to bomb it up over the top this time. Gotcha, bitch! But that was a mistake. On offense, he stays in cover three, so I'm going to show you guys another cover three one-play touchdown setup for this offense from the Y sale. Although this one is probably the most difficult. As you have to be on a hash mark with the route running to the short side of the field this time, then motion across the B receiver and put the Y and X receivers on phase to pull back the single high safety once again. After that, I'll put the running back on a wheel route to hold the cornerback down and block my tight end, and this play will depend on the free release of the B receiver once again. As he gets pushed too far outside and the pressure forces an early throw and we can't connect. But this play works if you wait a little bit longer and get a better pass lead inside the safety. He confidently or ignorantly stays in cover three on the next play, 
so I'll have to switch to another one play touchdown setup out of the escape play once again. As all I have to do is run this play from a hash mark to the open side of the field once again, only this time I'm going to put the tight end on a streak to pull back the safety and put the X receiver on a comeback route to hold the cornerback down. After that, I will just slant the Y receiver for a check down as it's also good bait for the user. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> and Quez Watkins strikes again for another one play touchdown. Back on defense, I'm still trying to figure out this new play, and it works on the first play as we get a huge sack, but it also gets my man defender crossed up as he scores a touchdown the very next play, and now I'm done with these experimental defenses. I just want to win the game at this point. I can't keep pushing the ball down the field or he will get wise to that, so I take the China route check down the next play before picking up the first down on the ground. Before I read cover two zone on the very next play, so I decide to switch to the Y sale play once again, as all I have to do is motion across the B receiver and put the X and Y receivers on fades just like I did against cover three, and the B receiver would usually split the safeties before his user was all over it. He goes back to cover three on the next play, and I immediately go back to the escape play one more time and set up the exact same way, as this play can work on either hash Mark, but he catches me inside the five once again, which is why you typically want to run to the open side of the field. Before I hurry up one more time and see that he switches the cover one man, so I switch to the double drags and we take the lead right back. On defense, I switched back to my normal 3-3 odd scheme for a while that I put out in a video just yesterday. Link in the description and on screen at the end of the video if you guys want to check that out. And it completely changes our fortunes. As we force him into a quick third and long before he picks it up at the seam, I get a big coverage sack on the next play before he gets most of it back on a deep comeback route before picking up the first on the ground again. And now he is slowly dinking and dunking his way down the field before I get him to a fourth and short and he picks it up again. From here I decide to switch to another experimental defense in the dollar sugar which is something that I haven't used in a very long time. And we get a coverage sack in the very first play before he converts another long first on a comeback route once again. As he eventually gets his way down the field and scores with 29 seconds left to end the half. God damn it! I get ball in the second half and I see that he's in cover three right away, but he is clearly favoring the deeper route right now, so I take the check down to remind him that he has to cover that next time. After that, I see he changes the cover one man, probably hoping that I don't see the difference, so I motion across the comeback route just to see if the cornerback follows, and he does, letting me know that he is in cover one man, so I stay in the mesh double drags this time and watch the wheel route to the running back as this route completely destroys his coverage to get me into the red zone in just one play. I keep motioning the comeback route to see if anyone follows, and I see he is still in cover one man, so I hit the drags one more time to get inside the deep red zone while he is too busy chasing that running back once again before I call another hurry up to keep him in it and try to punch it on the ground. And it takes a few tries, but we finally punch it in to get the lead back. On defense, I finally switched back to my actual defense in the 3-3 odd, and the blitz is still working very well as we get a big sack to push him back to a third and long before he converts another clutch fourth and long to keep the drive alive. <laughs> before completing another big pass to get close to the red zone, and then taking off a CJ Shroud on the next play to get closer, before we eventually get another coverage sack to push him back and out of the red zone entirely, and he decides to try that comeback route that's been working from this distance one more time. Gotcha, bitch. But this time we break on it, or he timed it poorly, to give us the break that we needed with only five seconds left in the third quarter. So now I'm thinking I just have to kill clock and maybe kick a field goal to make sure that I win this game before I see him switch to what looks like the cover two zone once again. So since I always take what the defense gives me, I'm going to try to score right now as cover two zone is one of the worst deep pass coverages in the game, especially over the middle. So I go back to the escape play one more time as all you really have to do is streak this tight end to pull the safety back as the corner route on the other side does a pretty good job of pulling the other safety apart. Break yourself, fool! and I get a huge pass play right through the middle of his defense to end the game in a rage quit before the fourth quarter even starts. See ya! So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more setups from the offense or defense that I was using in today's gameplay, I will have them popping up on screen now. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I'm out.